Father God, for the last 105 years, you have brought us through many good times and some bad times. And right now we're faced with the worst time we have ever had. But we trust you to bring us through this one. We come out on top stronger, better than we ever were. We thank you for it in Jesus. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your gospel. For we know it is the power of God for salvation. Lord, we pray that uh, you would be lifted up and that you would draw all men to yourself. Lord, we praise you, we worship you, and we exalt you. And we thank you for being our Lord and Savior. Lord, your word says that you will keep them in perfect peace whose mind is steadfast for you because they trust you. In this time of crisis, we pray for a peaceful mind. We pray for a grateful heart. Give, give us the mind of Christ that we may see your hand even in the smallest things. Help us to be grateful for your presence that never leaves us or forsakes us. Help us to be grateful for your protection that goes before us and around us. And help us to be grateful for your peace that surpasses even our own understanding. It's from Psalm 29, verses 10 and 11. The Lord rules over the flood waters. The Lord reigns as king forever. The Lord gives his people strength and blesses them with peace. And my prayer for Rinalda is that we would have that peace that comes from God, understanding that he has all power and he will bless us and keep us and sustain us through this difficult time. Let us see these, this situation through the eyes of Christ and praise him. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. Rest in the secret place of God and know that your safety is in God. Father, thank you for protecting Ronaldo people, their families, and friends. We apply the blood of Jesus over this church, over our families, friends, and community. And we declare that no plague shall come near us in Jesus' name. We apply the blood of Jesus to the doorpost of our lives in faith. By Jesus' stripes, we are healed. Isaiah 41.10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Lord God, I pray for everyone's emotional health to be strengthened by you during these times that can cause stress, worry, and fear. I pray all will know deeply how much you care and love us. Heal our souls and heal our land. Let us know that your mercies are from everlasting to everlasting. In Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that just like you tell us in Matthew 6.25, your people are more valuable than the birds of the air, and you provide for their needs. One need only look outside, and you can see that this is true. So, Lord, we ask that you would be providing for all of the financial needs of the people at Rinalda Church. Dear Lord, we're thankful for this new opportunity to spend time with family at home. We're thankful for the opportunity to train up a child in the way that they should go. We pray for parents and students as they are learning this new rhythm of learning from home. We pray for wisdom and patience in this new endeavor. Jesus, I wanna pray for all of our middle and high school students that you might dwell in their hearts through faith and that they would be rooted and established in your love, that they might have the power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is your love, dear Jesus and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that they might be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God, especially through this Easter season, in Jesus' name. Father, we're your church, and our prayer is that in the days ahead, that the gospel, your good news, would go forward in unprecedented ways. This old ship's been through some battles before, but your church cannot be silenced. We praise you even now for how the voice of the church will be heard loudly with a clear message of your hope and redemption. Dear God, bring wisdom to our governmental leaders locally and nationally as they navigate our nation through this horrible situation. And please grant wisdom to the scientists working on a vaccine and a cure to heal our nation from this horrible virus. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit and to the Heavenly Father, I confidently and boldly say amen to this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just give thanksgiving to you for your goodness that is shining in the darkness across the earth and the world during these difficult times. Oh, Jesus, we just thank you. You said in Isaiah 61.3 that you would give us beauty for ashes 
You would give us the oil of joy for mourning. You would give us a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that you might be glorified. Isaiah 11, 9 says, The earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, as the sea is full of water. We thank you for your goodness rising and shining in the darkness to bring people to know the living, loving Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.